Welcome to Digital Electronics Lecture Series. I, Professor Ritesh Dolakia, is going to explain you full adder designing by having two cross one mux. So in my previous video, I have designed full adder by using four cross one mux. Now I'll design full adder by having two cross one mux. So first we should have a basic truth table of full adder. So here to have truth table of full adder, I'm considering inputs x, y and z as inputs of full adder and my outputs are sum s and carry c0. So let me make a table of full adder first. So here you can see sum is 0 over here it is 1, here it is 1, here it is 1 plus 1 0, carry 1, here it is 1, here it is 1 plus 1 means 0 carry 1, here it is 1 plus 1, 0 carry 1, here it is 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3 means 1 and carry 1 and this carry are 0. So this is how full adder truth table is there. Now my next step is to make a Carnot map of sum first and then we will solve it for carry. So let me make Carnot map of sum. So here we have sum with input variables x, y and z over here. So here inputs are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and z is 0 and 1. Now let us place values of 1s in this k map. So 1s are there at 0, 0, 1 then 0, 1, 0, then 1, 0, 0, then at 1, 1, 1. See, so these are the locations where we have ones. Now, we need to make a truth table of 2 cross 1 mux as we want to simplify this sum and carry by using 2 cross 1 mux. I need to write truth table of 2 cross 1 mux. So, in 2 cross 1 truth table, you will be finding there is only one selection line. So let us say we have as zero that is our selection line. Why I am writing as zero? The reason is I have already s over here. So for a different notation, I am taking as zero. And over here, my output y is there. So if s zero is zero, i zero will get selected at output side. And as if s zero is one, i one will get selected at output side. Now in next step I need to draw 2 cross 1 multiplexer over here. So you see very simple 2 cross 1 multiplexer that is there with us where we have only one selection line that is S0. We have two inputs I0 and i1 and we have one output y and we want to perform y is equals to s. So now how to simplify this? So here first step that is to consider selection line as any one variable. Right. So here our agenda is to select selection line as any one variable. So you see in this k map if you consider z variable then that will be easier for us right as we can directly see by this column right so if i consider this as 0 as z then what will happen as if z is 0 will be selecting i0 and as if z is 0 this box will get selected and in this box you see solution is this plus this so if you observe this is x bar y plus this is x y bar right and x bar y plus x y bar what it means it is it is xoring of x and y so we can say i0 that is xoring of x and y now when z is equals to 1 at the time in this k map this 
z is equals to 1 will get selected and that is what our i1 so solution of i1 that is this plus this and that is you see this is x bar y bar and this is plus x y so we can say this is what x nor operation means invert of xor operation right so here as if we have x and y input right so i0 that is xoring of this and i1 that is x noring means here we need to connect one inverter and to i1 right so if you connect circuit like this you will be finding your output is sum by having x y z input right with this 2 cross 1 mux now let us simplify same thing by using carnot map for carry c0 so here i'm considering c0 with input x y and z we have inputs 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 and z is 0 and 1 over here now place values of ones so you see one is there at 0 1 1 so 0 1 1 here and then c0 is 1 over here at 1 0 1 so 1 0 1 c0 is 1 at 110 and at 111 so these are the locations of ones now next step is to write truth table of 2 cross 1 mux so truth table of 2 cross 1 mux is very simple if i say i have selection line as 0 and my output is y and we want to perform what y should be c0 as if selection line is 0 input i0 will get selected as if selection line is 1 then input i1 will get selected and let us make a basic 2 cross 1 mux over here and we will simplify this step by step so this is 2 cross 1 mux here we have input selection line that is as 0 here we have two inputs i0 and i1 and here we have output y and that should be c0 over here right now to simplify this circuit further all we need to do is we need to consider selection line as any one input variable let us consider z so here i am connecting z so as if this z is 0 i0 will get selected and z is 0 for this case now z is 0 for this case where solution is this now for this solution we can clearly say it is x dot y so we can say here i0 that is x dot y now when z is equals to 1 at that time as 0 is equals to 1 it will select i1 and when z is equals to 1 it will be this line so solution of this line that is this plus this so this is you see it is y plus you see this is x so i0 is x dot y and i1 is x plus y so here if you have x and y then you see this x and y this ending that is connected to i0 and this x and y oring that is connected to i1 so that is how we can implement carry of full adder by using 2 cross 1 mux so i hope that now it is clear to you like how we can resolve any boolean expression by using multiplexer right so i think this is sufficient to understand how to solve this type of problem 
Now, what I'll be doing is I'll take some problems based on multiplexer regarding how to implement logical gates, how to implement Boolean functions, all those things that I'll be going to place it in my future video. So you just see those things. Definitely that will be going to help you. And as usually I say, your suggestions are most welcome to me and based on that only I'm being able to prepare those videos which is required over here. So please give your valuable suggestions. Thank you so much for watching this video.